we're going to look at writing equations to parallel and per perpendicular lines when we're given the equation of one line and a point that passes through this other line that we're going to write the equation of. So in our first example, we are given the line 2x plus y is equal to 6, and we want to know the line that's parallel to that line that passes through the point 2, 5, and we want to write the equation of the line perpendicular to that line also passing through the point 2, 5. Uh, it also does specify here that it's gonna, it needs to be written in slope intercept form. That's important to note. If it didn't specify, then you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about that, which I'll talk about during the example. Okay, so let's start with the parallel line. So what do we remember about parallel lines? Parallel lines have the same slope. When it's written in standard form, we're not necessarily, it's not glaringly obvious what the slope of the given line is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the equation that we're given in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I need to get y by itself. y is being added by 2x, so I'm going to take away 2x from both sides. And I end up with y equals, I'm going to move that negative 2x to the front, and then it will be plus 6 because there was no sign, so it's assumed to be a uh, positive. Now I know that the, sine, uh, the slope of the given, so I'm going to call that m given, is equal to negative 2. And I know that the slope of any line parallel will be the same, so the slope of uh, the parallel line will also be negative 2. Now I have the slope, and I have that point 2, 5. For me personally, I like to use point slope form. You might use y equals mx plus b to figure out the value of b, but I don't do that. I do point slope form. So just important to note that when I do this, I am going to use point slope form. So I'm given my point, I'm given my slope. Point slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where x1, y1 are the uh, coordinates of the point, and m is the slope. So that gives me y minus 5 is equal to negative 2 times x minus 2. From here, because it does say slope intercept form, I need to distribute the negative 2 and I need to get y by itself. I'm going to move over here, so that way I don't have to write all awkward at the bottom. So first I'm going to distribute y minus 5 is equal to negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now to get y by itself, I need to add 5 to both sides. Go ahead and just do that there. So we get y equals negative 2x plus 9. Note here that the slope is still negative 2, which it should be, because it should be the same as the given slope. So this would be the equation of the line that is parallel to 2x plus y is equal to 6. Next, we want to write the equation of the line that's perpendicular. And we're going to go back to the slope of the given. The slope of the given was negative 2. The slope of any line perpendicular to it will be the negative reciprocal. Since that is negative, that means that the slope of the perpendicular is positive, And the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. So the slope here is going to be 1 half, and we're looking at the point 2, 5. Again, I'm going to use point slope form. So that's y minus y1, y minus 5 is equal to the slope of this perpendicular 1 half times x minus 2. And I do want to get y by itself, and I want to distribute here to get it in slope intercept form. Just a note, if it didn't specify uh, which form to write it in, this could be your final answer. But it does, so we have to continue. So I'm going to say y minus 5 is equal to 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half of 2, so half of 2 is 1, so it'll be minus 1. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And we get y equals 1 half x plus 4. So this would be the uh, equation of the line that's perpendicular to the given line 2x plus y equals 6 that passes through the point 2 comma 5. And notice that the slope is still the negative reciprocal, which it should be. Also note a very common mistake that students make is they think once you figure out the y-intercept of 1, that must be the, of the parallel, let's say, that must be the same y-intercept for the perpendicular. Notice they are not the same. They are two separate equations. They are two different lines. You have to do the work for both of them. Looking at our next example, this time we're given the uh, equation of the line is 2x equals 5y minus 4. That's awkward. And we were looking at the point... 10, comma, negative 6. So first thing I want to do before I uh, consider parallel or perpendicular, I need to get the given equation in slope-intercept form so I can determine what the slope is. Let's see. Um, I'm going to leave 5y here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate it over here. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. 
that gives me 2x plus 4 is equal to 5y, and then I can divide everything by 5. Um, what I'm also going to do at the same time is I'm going to use the commutative property that says I can switch the two sides. The commutative property of e equality says that if a equals b, then b equals a. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that now. That will be y equals 2 fifths times x plus 4 fifths. Ew, that's awkward. Luckily, we don't really care too much about the y-intercept here, so that's good news for us. Now we have this, the slope of our given line. Let's go ahead and talk about the line that's going to be parallel to it passing through 10, negative 6. So the slope of any line parallel will be 2 fifths. So we're going to use 2 fifths and the point 10, negative 6. I'm going to plug it into point slope form. That would give me y plus 6 because that would be y minus negative, which turns into plus positive 6, equals 2 fifths times x minus 10. Uh, just due to lack of space, I'm going to simultaneously distribute and subtract 6 from both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6 while I use the distributive property. That gives me y equals 2 fifths times x minus, so 2 fifths times 10, a little shortcut when you have a fraction times a whole number, if the denominator goes into the whole number, you can just simplify there. So 5 goes into 10 twice. And then it would be 2 times 2, which is 4. And then minus 6, because I subtracted 6 from both sides. So finally, our final answer for the line parallel, we would have y equals 2 fifths times x minus 10. And again, notice we have the slope of 2 fifths in our given line. We have the slope of 2 fifths in our line that is parallel. For the line that is perpendicular, when it's perpendicular, that means the slopes are negative reciprocals. Here we have two fifths. So since it's positive, the slope of the perpendicular is negative, And the reciprocal of 2 over 5 is 5 over 2. So we have our slope, negative 5 over 2. And that given point, 10, negative 6, which we can plug into point slope form. That would be y plus 6 is equal to negative 5 over 2 times x minus 10. Again, due to lack of space, I'm simultaneously going to subtract 6 from both sides and distribute that negative 5 halves. So this would give me y equals negative 5 over 2 times x. Negative times negative is positive. And remember the shortcut I just talked about. 2 goes into 10 5 times. Then it would be 5 times 5 is 25 minus 6. And so finally we get y equals negative 5 over 2 times x plus 19. This would be the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line we were given in B.